Hi and good afternoon. I want to go over a Glock 19 handgun. This is actually the uh, new addition to the investigators and I are uh, Glock 19 setup. This is the Lipsy's Glock 19 in flat dark earth. Now what you'll see with this firearm and there have been other reviews done on it, the flat dark earth frame and the slide match. So what I've got also is an X300 weapons light mounted to this firearm. There's going to be one additional upgrade we're going to do, but first off, let's go ahead and, uh, before we break this apart, let's go ahead and safety check it. Um, we are loaded up, so we're going to drop our magazine. This gun actually came with three Glock 19 magazines, and uh, I'm going to check the chamber's empty, right? Here we go. We're handling unloaded weapons. So we're going to talk about the, uh, the Glock 19 here for a moment. So three magazines it comes with, the Lipsy's Glock. And as you can tell here on the lighting and the video, the the color is pretty darn close. I wouldn't say it's quite exact, but it sure is awfully, awfully close. So Lipsy's has definitely figured out with who does their Serico job for them to match the frame and the slide colors. I've put about 200 rounds through this gun. I am currently waiting on the... Trigicon HD night sights, as you can see, this still has the Glock factory sights on it, which, again, Glock being a great handgun, I am not a fan, okay, just not used to them. All the Glocks pretty much instantly end up getting the new, uh, new sights, and definitely Trigicon sights, whether the bright and tough, or now we're also upgrading all the pistols to the HD Trigicons, but so like I said, they've been on back order, so we're still waiting on them. And as soon as they come in, we'll uh, we'll put these on this this 19. All right. One of the things I have not seen in the uh, reviews done on this gun is breaking it apart because as I've seen some of these in the gun stores, and what was unique about this one, by the way, too, was this was a Generation Three, not the fours. I see these a lot in the Gen fours. I was looking for a Gen three, and at a certain store in a certain state, I ended up finding this model there so I had to pick it up and be shipped down to Florida to my FFL dealer there. Anyway, what I haven't seen in the reviews on this firearm was breaking it apart. Like I said, we've put 200 rounds through this gun. Um, it not being black, it definitely gets a lot of fouling and gets dirty, but you clean it, it wipes right off. And what we're going to do with this firearm over the next six months is really break it break it down and and shoot it a lot so you'll see and we want to see I want to see how this Cerakote finish on the slide holds up because it's going to be drawn from a holster probably 10,000 times over the next six months I mean we, we train we teach um, and we use these guns in the field so let's go ahead and break it apart we are clear point in safe direction pull our trigger break the Glock down um, in the videos that I've already seen on it so far I have not been able to see where anyone has broken them down. I've put a little bit of TW25 grease in here, like I said, just being a new slide, and it didn't come with the copper grease. It was already wiped out like all new factory Glocks do, but everything is stock in here. There's nothing been been done on it. Like I said, it, it uh, and it wiped down real, real easily, so it's been shot already, so not a big deal. I'm not an unboxing video guy, so I don't really care to do those. There's enough of those up on YouTube. And uh, this gun holds up nicely. The Cerakote. One thing though I've noticed already, there is a little bit of wear starting and again I'm not really going to worry about it. You'll see the white is the, uh, the TW25 grease which will wear out. Actually we need to wipe some of that out. It's, it's actually run down in here. But what I've noticed in this gun, everything was Cerakoted except obviously here this was not. You've got this done with Cerakote. This is obviously going to probably wear down wear off because that's a heavy wear mark right here and that's also in the Glock good place to go ahead and make sure you lubricate I look at a couple of these uh, firearms in in stores and actually some of them they ended up having these little slide rails they were they were actually also Cerakoted which I thought was kind of funny but inside this firearm and actually somebody whoever had it they uh, on another pistol it was a Glock 26 I believe Everything on the inside was all Cerakoted. There was nothing silver in here. Um, the trigger bar that was that was actually left undone. But this gun, the uh, the gun that I saw had this all Cerakoted. This one obviously does not. And I know there's a little bit of glare here, but it was not Cerakoted. 
at all, which I liked. I want the internals and everything to be standard. So that's the inside. We haven't seen any videos on that where anybody has uh, actually broken the firearm apart. And just all Cerakoted. Very, very good job Cerakoting. And even right out of the, the gun store, there are a couple of parts on it that you could see. There's a little bit of wear already. Um, who really cares? I mean, like I said, the guns to us are a tool. They're going to be used and abused, and they're maintained well. So that's the uh, that's the good side about it. Um, but you know, I've I've seen some people talk about, oh, my slide has a little bit of wear. Well, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're training and you're actually using the gun, your gun is going to get a little bit of wear. So it's not going to bother me. But I mean, this is a this is a great little gun. It is very different in flat dark earth and uh, let's see how this goes so this is going to be the first video of this firearm and we're going to make some more and I'll show you guys how this Cerakote finish starts to really hold up with a lot of use a lot of training and a lot of shooting so we're going to wear it out okay thanks for watching